This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. Got a couple of comments here from a guy who says, if you have several options, why wait? Should you let her know you have low tolerance for games and will move on? And then the other question he says is, if she has all these rules, it's a sign of low interest. She will happily break rules for a guy she wants, even the first night. Well, again, so I'll, I'll answer the first thing first. So if, if, she ha- if you have several options, why wait? Well, the idea is you have options so that way you're not making any one of those particular women early on in the process be your one-itis, i.e. the one that you just put all your hopes and dreams on. Because the reality is in the beginning of dating, you should not like have anybody that is on high on your pedestal. You don't actually know them. You might have a couple of good conversations with them on a couple of dates and might even have a few hookups, but that does not mean that you legitimately know them yet. You should do your due diligence during those two or three months to ask the right questions of each of the women that you're dating to be able to narrow down which one is going to effectively work for you. All right. He said, should you let her know you have low tolerance for games? No. And here's why. Cause I, the guys have this thing, right? It's just, it's the same way as like women saying, so you're not going to just have sex and leave with me, leave me, are you? And then the guy hooks up with her and then like they go on a third date. She acts all weird and then she bails. Oh, he said he wasn't going to leave me, Franklin, and have sex with me and leave, blah, blah, He's playing games. Like the reality is that, A, most women aren't actually trying to play games. What most of the time is happening is that guys are going out there and initially they're doing the right stuff and then they do the wrong stuff and the women pull away from them and then the guys think, She's playing games because on the first date, she said, oh, I can see myself with you. And then by date three, she's ghosting. Oh, she said she could see myself with you. Now she's pulling away. She's playing games. I typically find it's because the dude starts doing stuff wrong. So, um, and even the girls that are typically playing games, those girls don't typically last that long. Like they're going to go away of their own accord. But more often than not, I say to guys, look at what you're doing during the dating process. Because it's one thing if like you go out with one girl and she's quote, playing games with you. If you go out with like five or six girls, and they all leave you, they weren't all playing games. You were effectively doing something the wrong way, and you got to figure out what that is, what that pattern is, what those actions are you're doing that are causing women to head for the hills after one or two dates. Perfect example, a lot of guys aren't aware that they're texting too much. So after one or two dates, they can't understand why the girl's starting to suddenly pull off, and it's like because you text all the time, and women don't like that across the board. But if you're just going to be like, she's playing games, she stopped, she stopped texting me. Well, dude, five girls left you because you were texting too much. It's not them, it's your texting. So you got to look at that kind of stuff and figure it out, right? That's the first thing. Second comment, um, if she has all these rules, it's a sign of low interest. She will happily break rules for a guy that she wants, even the first night. This goes, again, this goes back to how women are emotionally feeling about things, right? Because to your point, let's say a woman has a rule, she has a rule. She dates guys that are only like six foot or higher, right? That's her That's her across the board rule. And then she meets a guy that's 5'10", but he's got a good personality, makes her feel things, yada, yada, yada. They sleep together and it was the best sex of her life. Yes, she's going to break rules for that guy, right? But that does not mean that she has now effectively chosen that guy. So the mistake guys make is they assume at the point that a woman hooks up with a guy, she's automatically chosen him. Not how dating works these days, guys. That woman could hook up with you and then realistically go out with two or three other guys on dates that week as first dates and maybe hook up with one or two of them. Like, that does not mean that she didn't have a good time with you or isn't trying to build something with you, but it does realistically mean that she has other guys in the frame that she's trying to figure out. So, yeah, like... Just because she's breaking a rule, I don't typically hook up with five, 10 guys. That five, 10 guy is still going to probably mess up in other ways. He might text her too much. He might call all the time. He might be jealous or obsessive. He might not let her hang out with girlfriends. Like, we don't know. This is why just because she's hooking up with you doesn't mean that she's chosen you right away. All right. So, but yeah, if, if aesthetically you're there on the first night and she's looking at all these things, whatever, you have a higher chance of her breaking her rule. But most women have found, even if they get a guy that has all the stats that she wants, that doesn't mean that her interaction with him is going to still be pleasurable. So, because think about like all the millionaire and billionaire guys that are losing their wives, right? I've said this before, right? Is that they had all the stats. Some of some of the dudes are like six foot six and have muscles. They played sports and you know baseball, whatever. And yet they still can't keep women because behind closed doors, 
These women are having conversations with these guys and are interacting with them. And they're trying to be overly wordy and overly texty and be overly jealous. And so even though he has all the stats on paper, the interaction is not making her feel as though this guy's going to be long term. So even guys that she would break rules for by hooking up on the first date with or whatever, for example, that doesn't mean that he's going to last that two to three months that she's needing to fully solidify how she feels about it, if that makes sense. So hopefully this helps you out.